Aries Seeker. Last but not least, Happy New Year. Welcome to 2019 with the existential shift, Morgane. Very, very happy to have you. Welcome to all the new subscribers, seekers that have joined our tribe. So happy to have you. All my loyal seekers. Still very happy to have you as well. <laughs> you guys are my family. A family. I have several families. All right. All right, Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus in my case. <laughs> right off the gate. Judgment. Oh, Aries is going through it. Realizations. Understandings. Awakenings. Aha moments. Your soul is calling at you. Be like, Aries. Remember me. I'm your soul. I know your brain has tried to suppress me, but hey, I was here all the time. Can we talk? Actually, it's no longer asking for your uh, permission. It's just talking. It's talking um, in your head. Suddenly you have realizations, you have certain thoughts, and you're like, did I just think that? You've always been thinking like that. You just suppressed it with your, um, with your mechanism, your human mechanism. Yes, the soul and the self aren't always the same thing. When, when they are aligned and communicative and cooperative, that's when you reach the the highest of the highest. Um, but when there's dissonance and the self goes completely against uh, mothership, his soul, her soul, uh, that's when things don't feel right. No matter how much you succeed, it just doesn't feel right. But if you want things to start feeling right, start listening to your soul because it's your um, the DNA of your existence since eternity. It's your source. Okay, So yeah, it knows better. And here you are, hearing it. Certain um, secrets from the, in the closets are now like kind of availing themselves. You're opening doors that you've been closing up for years, many, many years. Things have been closed up inside of you. And you're like, no, that's not me. That's the past me. No, I'm no longer this. I'm no longer that. Um, but now it's like... Well, we're waking up and we're coming to talk whether you like it or not. So I, I advise to convey with these energies, with these, um, they're not scary and they're not here to hurt you. They are you that you have suppressed because at one point it was dangerous for you to be like that. It was unsafe. It was weird it was whatever society told you that it was or your family told you that it was or your friends or your partners or whatever or, or television something someone have told you that there's something wrong with it actually there was nothing wrong with it there was something wrong with the environment who judged you and now there's a new sense of judgment okay now there's a new point of view to things um, things that were once considered dark are now considered maybe full of life and potential. See how much one card can do? <laughs> Hi, Judgment. Okay, let's keep going and see what this is all about. January for Aries. Wow, okay. High Priestess and the Two of Cups. This is amazing. So you're, you're, you're doing the work and you're bringing it up to the surface and you're balancing everything inside of you. So High Priestess is the things inside of us that are not um, evil but dark. There's a big difference. Dark means the unknown, the suppressed, the uh, taboo. Okay, so 200 years ago, women's sexuality was a taboo, right? But now it's like all celebrated so it's just a matter of, of, of a culture and of a time and of a place but it's an essence that is very real and not evil it's just needed time to discover itself to express itself so if something was once kind of suppressed inside of you inner secrets inner darkness inner turmoils inner abilities uh this is this is very um clairvoyant energy 
the high priestess she she sees beyond time she sees beyond illusion um, beyond boundaries um, she holds look she's holding the Torah and the keys she's holding the secrets of life and now this energy or this individual or this self inside of you is calling at you to express in themselves some of you are learning a lot about either the occult or divinations or spirituality uh, some of you it's it comes to you at a, in a face of a partner or someone very close to you that is helping you discover certain things inside of you um, and look look at this look oh this is so pretty see how this uh, calling angel this, this is Gabriel has these red wings and see how these red, red wings are above this couple and there's the Mer Mercury's wand like knowledge being knowledge and balance between yin and yang is being um, uh, descended upon these two from the divine <sighs> gotta love it when the cards do that to me um, this is very sweet loving energy this is partnership this is the after tarot so the two of cups in the light of the way classic tarot it's also very beautiful and balanced. You see these two um, individuals facing each other eye to eye and offering each other a cup that is even. And here it's like a moment after where they're hugging. Um, so this is a very loving, sweet, honoring, best friends kind of like uh, of a connection. And this is a very deep connection, very... Um, truthful connection very um full of layered the high priestess is the archetype of persephone she's in the greek mythology was the daughter of demeter which was the goddess of life and she ruled uh, she was hades's wife the, the god of the underworld so she ruled the dead for six months which represented the winter and uh, fall time the seasons and she she rose back to the living uh realm in the summer and in the spring so she ruled both worlds that's why she is the most knowledgeable powerful goddess in the greek mythology and the most powerful um uh entity in the tarot deck because she holds the knowledge to everything the life the death the good the bad the above and the below the within the without now some of you if you don't have any sort of relationship or um the potential or horizon of a relationship in january because this is now the two of cups it's very present um if you do two 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 oh my one do judgment is 20 high priestess is two two of cups two 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 <sighs> okay <clears throat> what was i saying so if you don't have that <clears throat> in um in the horizon if it's just you yourself and thyself <laughs> and thou self this is unity within everything inside of you between the, the black and the white between the light and the dark between the known and the unknown there's awakening of all these uh, things that you've kind of kept hidden inside of you and you're now kind of hugging your inner demons or your inner past or your um, or the unknown that inside of you instead of suppressing it or fearing it you're now you're you're uh, um, uh, accepting it in I thought the, the other the other readings were were, were powerful um, I'm getting two 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 judgment <laughs> high priest and two of cups first three cards okay Aries what up tell me more show me more please for Aries for January what is this about how will it unfold I'm not feeling this I haven't even looked but I don't know. not forcing it I'm patient there we go. you saw me shuffle and not looking right two of wands the fourth two There are a total of six two cards out of 78 cards. 
Two of Wands, Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords. The High Priestess is a major two. The Judgment is a major two, which is um, the sum of 20, two and zero. So two major arcanas that can be two out of 22 uh, major arcanas. Uh, actually, maybe Justice, which is 11, could be two. So, okay, so it's, there's um, seven cards in the deck there, too. But first, four out of seven are the first four cards in the reading that come up. Sorry, two of uh, two of Wands. Let me stretch for a second. You know, every time I think the cards can't be more uh, synchronized and scary accurate, I... I, I they, they blow me away. They just blow my mind again and again and again. Um, okay, this is, this is definitely romantic. This is definitely um, two individuals that know each other very well. If not um, in the mundane, say you, you don't really know each other for a long time, uh, then on a soul level, you've known each other for a long time. Watch Leo. I just did Leo. Um, so there might be some similarities there, but because I also had a two of wands there. Um, I, I, I'm getting a really like a new journey beginning with someone that is very, very harmonious, very balanced, like like two paths are that are uh, synced into one. Two, 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 two. That's 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 double master number. Twenty two, twenty two. So this could be something. Two of Wands is the cards of also studying and teaching. So this could be a, a connection that um, that is open to the world in a way. Either traveling a lot or doing things that are abroad, either together or apart. But it's also judgment and teaching. There's a lot of teaching of um, uh, uh, of, of secrets, secrets of the self, secrets of the soul. So I don't know if the two of you met. Maybe like you're both teachers at a school, or maybe you're like doing something similar. And now you're kind of joining forces and doing it together? I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just partnership, but I'm seeing something that is, uh, no, four twos, 22 and 22. That's, 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 that's way beyond just the two of you. That is like to the world. Okay, we have the world here that they're holding. And those are secret truths that are coming to the surface. Like, there's something about um, I keep doing this. I'm sorry. I just um, I need a glass of water for a second. Let me just shuffle. Let's see what else comes up. I'm sorry. I need, I need, I'm gonna get some water. Excuse me. I'm still here. Sorry. Hi. Okay. Let's keep shuffling and see what else comes up that uh, could my, maybe explain this better than me doing this. So <laughs> you're reading for January. Do you understand? Are you, are you getting all the messages? <laughs> Cards, please allow me to express myself better. Thank you. This Caduceus wand, by the way, it's exactly these two poles, the black and white poles. It's uh, the yin and yang, black and white, um, swirling together into one 
into one, okay? Two become one. This is also the um, um, integrating the opposing forces of life. And it's very healing as well, the Caduceus one. So, um, and this is very healing. This is, in a way, like a, a love connection that really helps others. So, and maybe you won't know what it is about during January, because two is the beginning, it's initial stages, like, and this is a very long journey, like, the, that is, judgment doesn't last, like, for a lifetime. Judgment is, like, the soul, like, it's the eternity of your existence, so... This might be a beginning of something um, that you might just see kind of unveils with time. Okay, let's keep going. Um, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. January. All this harmony and now this. Uh, Knight of Swords. This is very aggressive, sometimes violent um, energy that we, I don't like this. What is this for Aries? Look, Mars has just entered your sign. Um, you are ruled by by Mars and um, Mars feels at home at Aries, but it's just, it kind of doubles, two, 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 it kind of doubles the energy of Mars, which is very active. And it, it, it's cardinal fire, just spark of fire. So maybe you want to not be hasty with your communication. Maybe don't pick up a fight. Don't be mean. Don't don't exert aggressiveness. Like two is a very harmonious uh, number. It's very um, equal. It, it looks at it, it looks at others like eye level. Um, it's it's receptive. It's healing. It's sweet. And this is like the complete other complete opposite of what I what we started with so let's see what this is about please show me more about this Knight of Swords for Aries for January show me more about this Knight of Swords for Aries for January oh someone is trying to uh, dismiss their heart oh look at this look at his um uh, Armor, thank you. Look at his armor. The shape like a heart. Oh, my shirt is shaped. Don't hurt me. I'm kidding. So his is is um armor is shaped like a heart, and there's a sword, and it's like no longer protecting, and there's a sword coming in. Oh, okay. This could be someone scared of letting their guards down emotionally when it comes to their heart because they're scared to get hurt. See, like there's the sword coming in but the sword is the it's the mind it's the air element it's analytical um, some of you are hurting yourself from overthinking some of you are very sensitive to words that people say um, Was it you guys that I told to let down your arms last month or two months ago in the, in the readings? Let down your arms. Let, I remember telling Aries to um, put down their sword and their armor. And it's like you're scared and Aries is scared that if they let go of their armor, a sword will come into their heart. Some of you guys, some of Aries, um, before you get hurt, you 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 make sure you hurt. Like I'm gonna put the sword the sword first. I'm gonna cut first before I get cut. So that's a dangerous game to play, most especially when you have this energy around. Um, hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's see more. Thank you. Four of Wands, right on Judgment and the High Priestess. Okay, some of you are getting married. 
So I'm getting married. Like what can what can I, it's eleven eleven two two yet? Yeah. I have no idea what this Knight of Swords is doing here. It's like completely detached from all this reading. I'm like, the fuck would you want? Okay, let's see more. <clears throat> Anything you want to tell me, Aries? Mm. Comment. Guys, comment. Tell me what this is about, please. Six of Swords. Hmm. Okay, I think I have a direction in mind. Hold on. Oh, go on. What else? Show me more. Not too much, too much. Here you are, King of Wands. This is you. Okay. You should watch the Leo uh, reading because there's a lot of um, synchronicity. It's cold. All are even numbers except for this unbalanced, scared, aggressive energy. Okay, this could be literally um, marriage and a honeymoon, okay? Because this could be a vacation or going away. Um, but this has a very like fast-paced vibe to it. This is a very fast, energetic role. Like things are happening really, really fast. This could be you going somewhere with someone in January to clear your mind, to get to know each other, just to just to take a break from things. Okay, some of you are definitely settling down. But I see things... This is this is a very fast-paced energy. I think Mars going into your sign is like giving you a real shove in the boot. Because you've been... Mars has been in Pisces for a while now. And it's it's been very like esoteric and confusing and foggy. And you're in your own, own inner world. Um, thinking, processing, analyzing... Having aha moments, uh, realizing things, learning things, discovering new worlds, discovering new found ways of thinking. And now from there, it's like Mars is like, boom, here. I think this is Mars going into your sign be like, yep, you ready for action? And then you're like, oh, okay, okay, oh, I guess we're doing this. Yeah, I guess you're doing this. Let's see, let's continue. Show me more for Aries for January 2019. Have I said Happy New Year? Happy New Year. No, I can't make this shit up. Ten of Pentacles. You having a baby and you're getting married and and you're building a home like in one month? But <laughs> oh my, I think I'm. I need. I need sunglasses. So, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, the Sun, and the Three of Wands. Guys, two, three, four of Wands. This is a wish come true. This is something you've always wanted or wanted for a long time. Um, so... I don't know, maybe you're getting pregnant and having kids in a month. <laughs> Everything is really, really, really fast, but very, very good. Um, just look, the advice I have for you guys, seriously, to survive this month is put on some sunglasses because the sun is going to shine.
maybe some of you are just going to visit your family in the, in the countryside and, and seeing like a lot of your cousins and nephews right um, but there's no holiday anymore in January if this was for December I'd be like okay mate you don't you're not necessarily getting married and having kids this could be the holidays family union reuniting seeing everybody but the holiday season is over thing God, I'm not sarcastic. It's just holidays are, ugh. One nine nine one nineteen nine ten. Two 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 two. One nine nine one. Sorry, I don't know how to explain what it is that I'm that I'm um, any more best ones in the deck wants to come up. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Did I not say someone is getting pregnant? The Empress. Guys, this could be um someone um getting pregnant and then you're like okay we're getting married like something that really happens fast this is a combination of children and of tying the knot yeah i don't have anything to say about this reading other than what i said so far Let's see what else I can tell you. Other than I'm jealous and that I want to be an Aries right now. <laughs> Put on your sunglasses and be ready for the sun to shine. Shine, shine, shine. I just, it's really simple and really good. So it's like, I guess the only thing that could be scary about it is how fast it is. Watch Leo. You have to watch Leo because in Leo, we had this king also holding the um, the lizard like with, with something that they're supposed to do or offer or get going with. And they were like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking to the point of like someone else wants to sh sh shoot themselves in the head. Cause, d disclaimer, no one shoot, shoot themselves in the head. I didn't say it so you'll do it. I said it as an analogy to being annoyed and impatient. You're watching this right now and you're thinking, did she just give me confirmation? No. Live, be happy. Great. Um, anyway, so here in in your reading, it's like the fire element of the of the animal aspect in us is growing wings and flying. It's like he's he's sending it away. He's like, okay, fly, go, do, be. Yes. And that leads to the four of wands. Two, three, four of wands. We don't have five of wands. We have six of wands, which is good. Five of wands is like conflict. We don't want five of wands. I don't care. It's good that we're skipping from four to six. Two sixes. All right. Let's 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 just go to the uh, three of pentacles. Okay, Aries. So you're in one month. You are getting married, having a baby, and you're building a home good for you now people are gonna be like in the comments what I'm not even close I'm sorry guys if this doesn't resonate with you I guess this is very specific group um, watch your other placements if this is your Sun and watch your moon rising your Venus your Midheaven your IC your North node your South node your Mars or whatever you want until you find something you resonate with and then it's yours um, but this these people here um, are are breaking the laws of physics <laughs> and doing a lot of things really fast and you're building a home and you're decorating it um, wow super, super, superman and superwoman I don't know how it's even possible but I guess you'll have to let me know so let's do the thing I do in the extended normally I do it on Vimeo but now I'm going to show you a taste of it I'm going to show you a taste of the first part of what I do in the extended on Vimeo 
So once I resume those regular monthly extenders for February, you'll have a little bit of, of an idea. Um, I take the numeric and elemental aspect of the cards um, and, and rearrange the table. Because they came out already synced, they're like placed themselves two, 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 two. So I guess uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, but what happens is uh, um, added interpretations um, is being presented or and or a different one. Uh, it's just another way that I kind of created to read the cards. No, I did not invent numerology and tarot. Of course not. It's just this mechanism. The way I do it is mine. That's all. Okay, let's just get to it. Um, sorry, I want to take a picture of this first before I change the... Mm. I love how patient you guys are with me. Thank you. Okay. So, all the twos are already aligned. Now let's grab the sixes we'll put here. Sorry, this is a six. Um, two, three, four, we will combine here. And then we'll put three, three of wands, three of pentacles, and then the empress, it's, she's three. And then nine, one, nine. No, actually the one, nine, nine, one here. It's also nine, ten. 10, 9, 10, because 19 is also 10. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. Okay. Mm. Actually, let's start with this. I'm going to put the major arcanas together. So happy for you guys this is your reading i'm very congratulations for everything okay once again kids okay this the, this is the meter um the goddess of life and she's persephone's mother this is a mother and a daughter this is birth this is reincarnation. These are children. Someone is definitely pregnant. The child could be a reincarnation of someone that either the mother or the father knows. So this is a very um, destined everything. It's how it's like written in the sun, you might want to call it. And we have your two sixes, which is very family-like, very harmony, very building a home, building, building um, legacy. This is like generations. The Ten of Pentacles is generations. It's it's the full package. It's the happy family life and the prosperity and the health and the and, and, and the world. It's like the full the full Monty, it's the full package. Um, two, three, four fourth ah perfect four two three uh is a code it's the first um it's it's for music so they used to today they they um uh they tune uh this chord for 440 when they play music it used to be tuned for 432 um but the music world has changed it just to be more comfortable with like, you know, uh, it's like the difference between the uh, feet, foot, and, and, and meters. Uh, there's the metric system, and then, then there's the, uh, I forget how you call that system in English. But, um, so going in accordance to 12 and to 6s actually, actually aligns better with the cycles of the moon and of the planets and of nature, as opposed to the metric system, which is more analytical, um, and comfortable for the brain, but it, it's not in cycles. It's more squared, and it's not really. So the same with the difference between four, three, two, 
which was which is more accurate. It's a more accurate chord to tune your music to. Um, but 440 is just a matter of convenience to teach and to go about. So 432 is 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 it's from sacred geometry. It's a very um, sacred number that sums to nine, which is the everything and the nothing, because nine is the sum of one plus two plus three all the way until eight. Then you downsize it and it's nine. But nine is, so it's everything, but nine is also nothing because everything you add nine to it sums back to itself. Eight plus nine is 17, one seven is eight. Five plus nine, 14, one plus four, five. So the nine is, all, is always like, makes things bigger, but also the same. It just raises, nine just raises the frequency of things. So this is a chord that you are now, uh, you're now tuning your, your, your essence according to that chord. You used to do it according to 440, meaning just the analytic or the metric system, like when, when it comes to the way you were thinking or behaving. You were just going in accordance to what is systematic and um, robotic in a way or habitual with the 21st century, but now you're just realigning with the frequency of your soul, of your essence, so you're making decisions that are more according to that. And from here on, you're, you're, you will start vibrating in a much more harmonious way uh, vibration frequency where things will just align, make sense, doors will open, um, things will flow easier because you're finally tuned. Aries, you're finally tuning yourself to, to your frequency. 234, 432. And I already said that, right? So we have three threes. You can't see. Three of ones, three of pentacles, the empress is three. Expansion, it's also three, three, three is um two, three, and four of ones. So I count them like that. So four, three, two, two, three, four, it sums to nine. And here we have three, 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 it sums to nine. And another nine. And nine inside the nineteen, which is the sun. Nine, nine, nine. Also, if this if children are involved or pregnancy is involved in nine months, two, four, six. So these three together is six, and then six, and then six, six, twelve, six, twelve, eighteen. Another nine. This is nineteen and nineteen. So that's one and one okay so we look at it as a different group on its own wish fulfillment and building generations for future you know to come this is a big reading Aries this is huge this is mind-blowing huge fantastic beautiful Nine, nine, nine. The, um, the everything and the nothing. This your frequency. You're, you're taking a leap be above the uh, one through eight, which is the um, the material world. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I'm sorry, not one. We have two here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is all the physical 3D world. The life that we lead, lead, the life that we live, the the material, the physical. Nine is the above. It's already connecting to spirit, connecting to your higher self, connecting to source. You are breaking out of the cycle of karma and the physical existence, and you're tapping into something much higher, higher frequencies, higher dimensions, and that has allowed you to align with a counterpart that is also vibrating on a very high frequency. And now that you're both aligned, you can see each other. I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm talking like I'm crazy. Ugh. Whatever. I don't care. This is some big stuff. <coughs> this is some big stuff, Aries.
I don't know how I'm going to name this video. Wear sunglasses. Shine. Nine, 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 nine. Four, three, two. <laughs> Sacred geometry. And how your life connects with ancient ways of tuning your instruments, your musical instruments. Okay. Congratulations, Aries. So, you know what? In honors of you being the last um, reading for January that I did, I already did all the other 11 zodiacs, and you're the 12th one. I'm sorry. Uh, and just in honor of you giving such powerful energy to the reading, I'm honored. If this resonates with you, then I'm honored to have you on my channel. Um, I'm going to give you one message from each. Normally I choose either the I Ching, the Akashic Records, or the Runes. I'm going to give you one of each so you're getting a special uh, reading. Okay, I need to take it off my site because I'm about to uh, faint. Okay, so a message from the Runes for Aries Seekers uh, that are watching me right now for January. My Aries viewers. Guys, I'm really sorry if this is something that you would really like and then it's not happening in the next month. I guess I'm tapping to a specific group. Uh, it doesn't, you don't have to be, uh, it doesn't have to be to your sun sign. Maybe it's for any of your other placements, but if you're really lured and you're drawn to this video and you know exactly what it's about, then great. If not, just watch your other placements, okay? And if you want your, um, before I move on, if you want um, your extendeds for January and for the entire year included, 2019 Ministers of Magic, a special project that I did with uh, reading with yearly readings, link below. Also, if you want to book a private reading with me, link below. Uh, study tarot with me, tarot masterclass, online um, uh, classes at your own pace, link below. And you can follow me on Instagram, The Existential Shift. I think link is also below. Everything is in below. All right. Now that I said all that, message from the room for Aries for January. Oh, that's okay. There's a hole in the stack, and this one fell. So, okay. Perdre could be the letter P. Uh, Perdre is the rune of the mystery and of the secrets, it's very much the high priestess. It's the runes of self-discovery. Um, it's the entire reading in one rune. It's also the rune of music, uh, the rune of frequency and energy. This is amazing, like one rune to sum it all. Um, and the rune of sex. So listen to the secrets that are unveiling. Now, in case, let me tell you also how it is in the reverse. Pivotal in the reverse is secrets you don't want to come out are being revealed. So if you want to avoid that, um, let it come from you. Like if you're hiding something, if you're cheating, if you're lying, it will be revealed. So better if you kind of do the right thing and either uh, stop it or uh, talk about it or, you know, be truthful. This is the rune of, of truth, of esoteric truth. It doesn't necessarily have to be like black and white sort of truth. It needs to be moral, spiritual type of truth, okay? So the dry law doesn't matter. The moral law is what matters. So follow that. Be sincere. Be um, honest. Be open. Be real. Because um, whatever it is, if it's in the reverse, that the there's a possibility that you're hiding something from a selfish place that will end up um, biting you in the ass. This is also the runes of, of, um, of respecting people's secrets. So if someone trusted you with a secret or trusted you with something private, you better make sure you keep it, you reserve their honor and privacy and secret and you hold it within because it's also a very karmic rune. If you expose someone else's secret, you will, it will really backfire at you. So that, that, that is what Pildor brings. And now let's move to message from the Akashic Tarot, Akashic Records. And I like how it sneaked.
from the hole in the sack. Like it's such a perdro thing to do. It's like the essence of the runes. What like <laughs> this reading, you can't make this up. Okay. Kashik Tarot. Come back to me at the end of January and told me if this reading was for you or not, and then I'll be like, Woo, and why didn't you invite me to the wedding? Okay, message for Aries. The Akashic Records, please. Message for Aries. From the Akashic Records. Another 19. Reflection. Okay. This is actually beautiful and it's very similar to a Pildor in a way. And I'm going to read you from the book. Hmm. Reflection and it's upright. So, a full moon shines brightly over a quiet lake as a small ship glides gently through the water. The glow of the ship's lantern is reflected on the lake's surface along with the moonlight from above. Oh, this is like the Six of Sword as well which you had in this week. This card can sometimes show a trip, particularly a trip over by water. More important, it can reveal that you now have a direct line to your psychic gifts. The High Priestess, the Judgment, Awakening of those gifts. You are also more aware of your emotions and more reflective about them. You recognize the differences between your intuitive voice, which is calm and assured, and your lower emotional compulsions which are urgent and sometimes fear-based. That was, This is very much the Knight of Swords. Let yourself gain even greater clarity and control over your emotions now. This also would be a great time for you to take classes in meditation, psychic development, counseling, healing, and other psychological and spiritual arts. If you have such an interest, your yin side is wide open and your receptivity is high. Trust your inner voice and you will be guided to greatness. This is exactly the reading. Akashic Force. Close your eyes and feel yourself filled with an emotional peace as calm as a still lake. You are now in a state of intuitive reflection. Open yourself to a word or image from spirit and trust the first thing you get. Let yourself receive. Pretty! Let's put this here. Let's put this here. I'm trying, I'm trying, whatever. All right. <laughs> um, now the E chain. This reading was intense. Like my body is like full, full with the energy, like the, and I'm like, right. Please message from the I Ching to my Aries seekers. Message from the I Ching to Aries, please. Those are three. No, we can't do three. Please, just one. We don't have time. One message, please, from the I Ching for Aries. A message from the I Ching for Aries. Okay. Number 34. I'm going to read to you. I love story time. Story time is best time. Tao Chong, the power of the great. Above thunder, below heaven. Thunder in heaven, respecting the established order. The power of heaven is heard in the voice of the thunder, which proclaims its vastness. The populace is compelled to obey what cannot be changed at present. Thus are tyrants raised to power by the oppression of, dis of dissenting voices. But those who rule with justice may engender obedient born of respect. 
I feel like this is for a different um, group of Aries. Um, we're either tempted to try and control by means of fear. Um, maybe it's for the ones who receive the pedal in the reverse as opposed to the pedal when it's upright, um, where you're trying to um, take advantage of someone else or of someone else's weakness or, you know, it's, it's, it's a very tyrant type of energy. So you will not receive anything by trying to inflict fear or disrespect or exposing secrets. I don't know what this pale duel is about, but if you want respect and if you want power, do it with justice, with moral code, okay, with honor. Um, so I feel like this reflection is for pale duel and it's upright, right? And this um, 34 is for pale duel in the reverse. Because these are general readings, so I have a lot of messages. So take it as you know re it resonates for you. And don't lie to yourself. 41 fell down. Okay, and, and before that, um, 3 fell. So I feel like I have to give another message. We're already on like 51 minutes when we do. Okay, 41. You better book a private reading. <laughs> Kidding. No, just, you know, just... just Purchase, support me. Seriously, that, that will allow me to keep doing this. 51 minutes for one video. Grab a, an extended, you know. Like, we all want to receive, but we forget we have to first give. It's not just take, 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 take. Okay, give and take, give and take. You attain balance for yourself by behaving in a balanced way and in a fair way for others. Sorry, that was a rant and a preaching. Love you. Okay. 41. Sun. The crease. Above mountain, below lake. The lake below the mountain. A simple sacrifice. Evaporation decreases water in the lake and dispresses it upon the mountain. It is the nature of the lake to give of itself for the benefit of something greater. When one makes a simple sacrifice for the well-being of another, the decrease brings no shame. Letting go of what has fulfilled its usefulness. Letting go of what has fulfilled its usefulness is another form of decrease that leads to success. Yeah, this is about letting go of ego, and I think it connects to the 34 message that we got of to not be a tyrant. Oh, wait, this is 33. Did I re remix the cards? Okay, we, we got to finish this. I'm sorry. Aries, thank you for being here. If you haven't subscribed yet, it's your chance. Join the tribe so you'll know about more videos and support me. Thank you. Um, fun stuff in the information box. I will see you in February. Happy, happy new year. Ciao.